Satoru Gojo is finally back. Now with that being said, there's a lot I need to talk about from Gojo to Sukuna to Yuji to even Daido. There's just a lot I need to talk about for the future of this series. So first, Gojo comes in, sends Araume flying, he's ready to kill Kenjaku, but then Sukuna interrupts and then there's like this ball of light and they're in the air just staring at each other. So cool. You don't know how long everybody's been waiting for something between Gojo and Sukuna, especially like Sukuna with this new body of his. It's all very hype and I honestly have my money on Gojo winning their rematch. And with everything being shown, I wonder how Gojo feels about Sukuna taking over Megami's body currently. Now, I'm sure he's upset. He has to be. But I guess Gojo can also see it as at least Yuji gets to live now. Now, what I'm going to talk about is not something I fully believe in, but I do think there's a possibility. With Yuji going through the series and having all these battles with Mahito, getting the book from Yuki, and now Daido being on their team, I believe there's a possibility that Yuji can learn more about the soul. And with everything being shown from Yuji and Mahito's first fight, I believe that there's potential for Yuji to at least find a way to enter Sukuna's innate domain and defeat him from within there. And if Yuji were to directly hit Megami, right, and touch Sukuna and enter the domain from there, and defeat Sukuna, would that completely eliminate Sukuna for good? Well anyways, that's like a mini theory I have. We've just seen Yuji have so many run-ins with the soul and Mahito and all these characters who kind of give us a little bit of lore on the soul, but not too much. It has to play a role at some point, right? But anyways, back to the amazing chapter. I loved everything about it. Gojo just coming in, the all black fit. You see, like he's all muscular. He's looking cool as hell. Since Erdo may fly in clashes with Sukuna again. The clash with Sukuna is one of the best moments in the series. I don't care what anybody says. That's the most hype I've been since Hakari versus Kashima. And you can really see that these characters just can't wait to get at each other. They're just staring at each other like, yo, they really believe that they're going to win. Both of them do. And that's what makes it so hype. They're staring at each other with all the intensity in the world. They've both been waiting for this since the beginning of the series. And something else I also want to point out is, when Sukuna was looking at Gojo, there's a black text box that has Yorozu's line about love. And now what I'm thinking this is, is that Sukuna is so hyped for this battle. When he looks at Gojo, he feels love. And it's not like he's romantically attracted to him, but he loves Gojo's power. He's excited to finally have an equal. Somebody who can give him the fight he's always wanted. And you got to remember, these are both the honored ones. Two sorcerers that parallel each other and transcend existence. They are both unstoppable calamities. Two characters that make Kenjaku look like a joke. The same Kenjaku that took on a special grade sorcerer and a special grade curse, unprepared and decimated them. And remember, the same Kenjaku could even use most of his moveset because of Yuki's concept negation. So I'm going to talk about the other things in the chapter as well, such as Kenjaku not being prepared to see Gojo. I thought Kenjaku would be prepared to see Gojo because he had stated to Gojo that he would see him in the new world. But maybe he just didn't expect to see Gojo right now, probably after he created that super curse. Who really knows, right? You got to wait for Kenjaku to give us 17 pages of exposition in order to find out what he's really talking about. So. We'll just wait for that. And about the final battles in the series, I think they'll start in about two to three chapters. And I think that Yuji versus Kenjaku will happen. Now it has to happen. Kenjaku has messed with this kid's life. He's put him through so much by putting Sukuna into his body. And bro, he toyed with his whole family, which is insane. If I were Yuji, my beef would really be with Kenjaku, not Sukuna. Although I get why he's still mad at Sukuna as well. Me personally, I think Yuji's gonna fight Kenjaku with a party of people, probably Choso as well. And if what I think about the soul and all that stuff with Megami happens, Gojo will be able to knock Sukuna unconscious and take his body to Yuji. But again, this guy's been toying with Yuji's entire life and his family. I mean, I just feel as if Yuji needs to whoop Kenjaku's ass before anything else. So again, it just all depends on how this series plays out. I think I'll be satisfied no matter what happens. It doesn't take much to please me, but again, this is Gege Akatami, so even if it did take much to please me, I'd still be satisfied. And I'm sure we'll get those people who come out the woodworks out of nowhere, who never talk about the series, complain and cry about something with a female character in the next three chapters. I promise you, swear on everything I love, it's gonna happen. I believe it. Somebody always has to whine and cry about something that, quite frankly, is handled better than most other series would. Because I'm gonna be honest, bro, people crying about Sumiki and Yorozu like Ryu didn't get one-shotted in a chapter before that. 
But anyway, I hope that doesn't happen so we can enjoy the series in peace. All in all, anything can really happen after this point in the series, right? Things are taking a plateau. They're kind of taking a break in order to wait for December 24th for the rematch. I'm excited for it. I wonder what will happen. I mean, even Kashimo, right? We don't know what's going to happen with Kashimo. Maybe maybe Gojo are going to be like Goku and Vegeta and give each other turns fighting Sukuna. Who knows? All I know is this two-week break is about to be brutal. So when we come back, I hope that something hype happens again or something crazy. Or Kashimo meets Gojo. Maybe Kashimo and Gojo fight. Kashimo's going to see Gojo and be like, nah, I'm good on Sukuna. This is what I want. Although nothing would really happen in that fight, right? It'd just be Gojo being untouched per usual. Anyways, that wraps up my thoughts on my initial thoughts and impressions of the chapter. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.